how to change the clock style on the always on display go to settings search for clock styles you will see uh, here clock style then select the desired clock style after you selected click on done then the next one is called the finger sensor gesture to enable this go to settings search for finger sensor finger sensor gestures uh, once you enable it um, you just got to swipe on the uh, fingerprint sensor to open the uh, top hand menu you just need to swipe like this the next feature is called smart stay with this feature the screen won't be locked when your face is recognized to enable this go to settings and search for smart stay turn it on the next feature is related to expanding the settings on the top menu if you pull down the top menu you will have access to various functions uh, when you click on the text part you will get some more features for example in the torch function if you uh, click on the uh, text part and you will be able to actually change the torch brightness the next one is a feature present on the samsung health app with this feature you will be able to uh, measure your stress level using the heart rate sensor Once you open it you will be prompted to keep your finger on the heart rate sensor. It takes some time to measure it. The next feature is a feature that allows you to take screenshot easily. It's called palm swipe to capture. To enable this, go to settings, advanced features and then select on palm swipe to capture. With this feature enabled, the screenshot will be taken automatically when you swipe over the screen. The next one is related to customizing the edge screen. When you click on the settings button, you will have you can add many more screens like that. The next feature that I'm going to show you is a very useful feature. It is called S Pen Alarm. With this feature, your phone will notify you when you walk away without inserting the S Pen. To enable this feature, go to settings, go to advanced features, then S Pen features. Then turn on S Pen alarm. What is great about it is that it even shows you the last time in which you removed the S Pen. So it is easier for you to search for it. The next one is also a useful feature. It is called translate. There is an S Pen feature. So pull out the S Pen and open air command. Then click on the translate button. Uh, suppose you are reading something in another language that you don't know. If you know, if you want to know the translation of it, you just hover your S Pen over the word or phrase that you want to translate, and then S Pen will automatically translate and show the translation. You can translate a text or an entire paragraph or a phrase. The next one that I'm going to tell you about is also an S Pen feature. It is called Magnify. With this feature, you just need to hover your S Pen over a part of the screen to see in a magnified image of that part. The next one is hiding the navigation bar. Suppose you are reading through some articles and you want to get rid of the navigation bar. This is the feature that you should use. You just need to double tap on the small dot that appears on the bottom left corner of the screen 
and with this the navigation bar will be hidden. To re-enable it, pull it up and then uh, double tap the dot once again. 